What's poppin' internet? Welcome to another episode of the Sync Dev Podcast show where we talk to you about news, news games. games. Is, oh, we're gonna start over? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Noah, where are you going? <laughs> you're running the show. I'm running the show? Yes, bro, come on. But you're not starting it. Because... <laughs> Special What's pop? Just turn it on when you're gonna talk, not all the time. Otherwise, there's an echo. What's pop? Internet. Welcome to another episode of the Synced Up Podcast, a show where we talked about news, games, and sandwich a little fun in between. I'm one of your host, Timothy DeRoe, and joining me this week is your boy, Michael Mick- Claire. Michael. Hello. Michael and Claire. How you doing? How you doing, Timmy? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Having a good day. Slept it's- pretty late. I woke up at like eight, and then I woke up at nine, and then I woke up at ten, and then I woke up at eleven, and then I woke up at twelve thirty. So you woke up at twelve thirty? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Don't. Uh-uh. It's because no. no, it's because I woke up and I was like, I could get up right now. Mm-hmm. But the dream I was having was pretty good, so I'm going to try to go back in. You know what I hate about life? What? Yesterday. or Well, the day before then. I went to sleep at like 12.45 and had to wake up for work. And I got up at 6.15. Mm-hmm. Felt, felt good. Yeah. Felt No, it's amazing. a scam. It's a scam. It felt amazing. <laughs> and then I go to bed last night at midnight, a little earlier, mm-hmm. and didn't have to wake up till 7.15. Yeah. And felt like doo-doo. <laughs> felt like dog shit. The eye does not make it's sense. It's a scam. Like when I hate it. We, what were you doing? I, was, I think I was setting up for Frost Haven, and I was like, man, kind of tired. And Andrew was like, yeah, see, so we should have went to bed early. I was like, it would have been the same. Yeah. It wouldn't have fucking mattered. Yeah. This shit is a complete dice roll every time. It doesn't yeah, matter. Well, and then, like, naps, too, bro. Yeah, I get to get 30 minute nap one day and feel amazing, and yeah. the next day, feel worse. Yeah. I, I hate sleep there's and only, the inconsistency. There's only one consistency sleep thing. If I spend my lunch break at work mm-hmm. taking a nap, I will wake up feeling good. I think yeah. maybe it's a time frame. Maybe it's the fact that I can hear bird noises and cars driving around. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but every time I take a nap, like I'm, I'm like, I'm going to take a lunch and then I'm going to mm-hmm. take a nap and I get like 23 minutes of sleep, 24 yeah. minutes of sleep. I wake up and I'm like, ah, all right, get the day going. Mm-hmm. But any other time, nah. It's, no, it's a, na- a nap when it's pitch black is terrible. And I think your body is like, mm-hmm. this is sleep, sleep. But if if I was to bust a nap outside, yeah, like in a hammock, yeah. for fifteen minutes, it'd be amazing. Yeah, because your body knows what it's, it's doing. It's like you're, let's just rest up, buddy. You yeah, know? just real quick, just real quick. Sorry for the tangent. Today's we're gonna talk about Xbox doing some stuff, Ubisoft doing some stuff. That's pretty much it, though. And some things we've been playing. You know how it goes. The what? Uh, good stuff, bad stuff. Uh, bad stuff and good stuff. What's the thumbnail? Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Just like the box. Well, or nah, Ubisoft. But like what? Just you, uh, you want me just Ubisoft? <laughs> I don't know, bro. You figured out. You know how it goes. Let's get into it. So, the biggest piece of news, the Xbox Developer Direct that we talked about that was rumored last week mm-hmm. has been confirmed. It is actually happening on January 25th, um, providing fans with an inside look at some of the games coming to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass over the next few months. Um, this is from news.xbox.com, by the way. Presented by the game creators themselves from studios including Arcane, Mojang, Turn 10, Zenimax Online Studios, the Developer Direct will focus on big features, extended gameplay showcases, and the latest info for Xbox games launching in the next few months, including Elder Scrolls Online, Forza Motorsport... Oh. Lord have mercy, that was... The Almost bird was dangerous. coming. I was trying to hold it. It was like one of those ones that like got caught, and your heart and like my heart was like, I might stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Forza Motorsport, Minecraft Legends, and Redfall. Mm-hmm. Uh, to, to dedicate the proper amount of time for a deep dive into Bethesda Game Studios, Starfield, a standalone show is coming later. Okay. Cool. So tune into any of the Xbox channels, 12 p.m. Pacific time, January 25th. That's that's 2 p.m. Central Time Zone, gang. Um, January 25th um, to get all the latest on yeah, Elder Scrolls Online they're going to unveil their 2023 major chapter update including the latest regions of Tamriel to become playable in ESO as well as major new features coming in the game's biggest update this year uh, the developer direct will be immediately followed by the full standalone ESO chapter reveal event hosted by Zenimax Online Studios which will provide an all in-depth details ESO players will need to know Jordan probably tune into that. Mm. Forza Motorsport. The, turn, the team at Turn 10 Studios have been hard at work bringing fans the next generation of Forza Motorsport built from the ground up to take advantage of Xbox Series X and S. Forza, Forza Motorsport is back, and we can't wait to share more gameplay and exciting new details. That game's going to look fucking good. That's Forza for you, baby. Yes, sir. Minecraft Legends. Mojang will showcase an insider look into the PvP multiplayer experience in Minecraft Legends, something I didn't know this game was going to have. Yeah, I didn't The know upcoming action strategy game from the makers of Minecraft, developed in partnership with Blackbird Interactive and launching this spring. Don't miss exclusive gameplay footage at the Developer Direct. I'm really excited for this game. I'm, like, actually really hyped for it. I li- of course, I'm, I'm very much... We're Minecraft uh, lovers. On the fence. You're on the fence? I need to be convinced. Okay. Well, like, we I'm excited because it's a new, new maybe thing. maybe a fun new Minecraft game. Yeah. But it could much. be bad. True, true, true. So. But did you play Minecraft uh, Dungeons? I did. I liked it. I thought it was okay. Yeah. I thought it was a solid seven. Mm-hmm. Um, For what it was. Baby's first Diablo. Yeah. I, like, I, I thought it was really good. And had I been dating Adriana at the time, we probably would have played through the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought it was worth it. Minecraft Legends, 
it's, it's looking pretty nice. Yeah. Um, of course, I love anything in the Minecraft universe. I think what Minecraft does over there is great. The stuff they do for the kids, the stuff they have like now that mods for are on the all the consoles. Um, just the the fact that that's just a game that everyone can play together on any device, on anywhere, in anything. Um, yeah. It's it's just really really good, and it being on Game Pass and really cheap. Uh, Minecraft, of course, is fucking goaded. Um, I mean, Matt came in the Discord today, which you can join by going the one dollar tier patreon.com slash linked up. And he was like, "Hey, when are we gonna do our uh, next Minecraft playthrough?" Because you know, the boys every year and a half we get in, mm-hmm, we play mm-hmm, some Minecraft mm-hmm. for two and a half weeks, and we never talk about it again. Exactly. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah, it is about time. I love that shit. And then Redfall, the minds behind Dishonored and Prey, Arcane Austin will showcase several minutes of gameplay from their upcoming FPS. The developer direct will reveal single and multiplayer gameplay showing more of how you and your friends will take down the bloodthirsty vampires on the picturesque island of Redfall, Massachusetts. Fans can expect to learn more about combat, customization, bosses, and the open world, and more. That's what I'm most excited for is Redfall. I am. We have found out, though, that the co-op portion of Redfall is going to be weird. It's going to be the classic thing that, for some reason, we still haven't figured out in modern gaming. You know how when you play co-op games with your friends and you want to join in them and do story stuff, but then, mm-hmm. like, if you do the story stuff, it only progresses it in their world and not your own? Yeah. Yeah, it's that. That's stinky. Yeah, it sucks. But um, do the achievements mm-hmm. pop for you? I think they do, but if you go to play it by yourself, like, yeah. let's say your friend, like, your friend dies, mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess, you know, when you're halfway through the story. Like IRL? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tragic. You have to start over. <laughs> yeah. Which I guess is not what you're worried about. But you know what I'm saying? You know, there's somebody. Sure. That, there's a non-zero chance that'll happen to somebody. Yeah, basically, if you want to play the game by yourself and you've played eight hours of it with your homie mm. in his world, you're fucked. Yeah. And then you have to start over, which sucks. It's like the Far Cry method. Borderlands did it right, in my opinion. So how do you how do you do it if you're not as far as your friend is, but you want to join your friend? You just join and you still play them. You just miss those. Like it, that's fine. You're just progressing on their world. Yes, but I'm saying like, what? How would you fix that? You don't fix. There's nothing to fix. Like, because the progression never happens in your world. So when you jump back into your world, you're still gonna be back. No, I'm saying like, how would you fix that? Like me personally? Yeah. I think that's you said like we we haven't been able to fix this. Well, because and because like you that, do it just I, like Borderlands does it, in my opinion. How's Borderlands do it? Again? In Borderlands, in Borderlands, if you progress through the story together, it progresses mm. it in both of your worlds. And then when you want to go play by yourself, you mm. can do things. If you've already done quests that your friends have, mm. or you've already done quests that your friends haven't, right? And then y'all join together and they haven't done those quests, they can still accept those quests. But when they pop in your feed, they'll have an X over them to say, "Hey, you've already done this." You can still help them progress that quest, and then it'll get it for them, and then it'll clear out of your log with the so, X. So, so say on. you're ahead on the story. Yeah. Um, and your friend wants to play with you, but they're not to that point in the story. They can still play with you, except all of their missions, because they're like further into the story. They'll have the little X over them to say, "Hey, you don't have this mission unlocked yet." Okay, so it'll say you can do it for story mm-hmm. missions. Okay, I guess it's fair. But for side missions, it's fine. Yeah. So that's how they've done it in Borderlands, and frankly, that's worked well. Yeah. Um, and I don't know why they like in Far Cry and shit. They still haven't figured this out. <laughs> it's so weird. I hate it. Anyway, so Xbox Developer Direct. I'm excited. excited. Me too. Glad to see more from them. Yeah, I think I think Redfall is my biggest. Yeah. Um, because that I'm I'm excited to see all the combat and looks very fun. I want to see the Starfield solo stuff mainly for the date. Is the that? But date. that's a we that's don't know what day that's coming out though. No, we just know that it was supposed to come out in December and then it's supposed to come out in the first. No, half no, no of this I mean year. the the event. No, 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 no date on the event. Okay, cool. The other thing from this week, yes. Ubisoft is canceling and delaying shit. You know how it goes. It's what Ubisoft does. No. It's all misses nowadays. Ubisoft cancels three new game sites' economic challenges. Um, they've and this is from Games Hub. Never heard of it. Ubisoft has kicked off January 2023 with several pieces of dire news that its long-awaited pirate action game Skull and Bones has been delayed for the sixth time. Tragic. That several recently released titles, including Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope and Just Dance 2023, have significantly underperformed. I'm like they were doing well, and that the studio has been forced to cancel three unannounced game and three announced games as a result of economic pressure. Did you say Just Dance? Yeah. Imagine like you're a game dev, mm-hmm. right? You got this great game. You're so excited for it. You get picked up by Ubisoft. Yep. And then one day you hear, "Sorry, Just Dance 2023 is not performing as well as we thought it would. Mm-hmm. We're canceling your game." <laughs> that would suck. Like, be- <laughs> but why is it just Dance 2023's fault? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's because Ubisoft as a company is just fucking weird. While Ubisoft has celebrated the, diver- the diversity of its game's portfolio in its latest report, it has also confirmed major challenges as the games industry continues to shift towards mega brands and long-lasting titles that can reach players across the globe, across platforms, and business models. Um, I'm calling bullshit. I think I agree. This is a lie. Yeah. <laughs> I have, we have seen straight. Incredibly financially successful, 
nominated for multiple Game of the Year awards. Mm-hmm. It's just a game about a fucking cat. Vampire Survivors made by one dude in fucking Garage Band. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Game of the Year contender. Yeah. Very financially successful. Could be even more financially successful if the guy was in any way, shape, or form greedy. Like, you you don't have to. You don't. Somebody at Ubisoft is ran like a normal company. And also, you want to say. that's the problem. You want to say the industry is shifting towards mega brands. That's their whole shtick. No, it's true, bro. Assassin's true. Creed. That's Tom true, Clancy. It's true. We're not getting. Supergiant is not making a new game. They're just making Hades 2. This is proof of that concept. Yeah, shut the hell up, bro. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> shut up. No, I I feel like Ubisoft is the most normally ran company. You like, mean like, like as in like a as like a, it's definitely a ran by hundred. Yes. Yes. Like it's it's on Forbes. Like that. This is the decisions of a corporate entity. Yeah. I and agree. it just makes sense. So nothing shocks me here. Um, yeah, and you're right. They make the the mega single player the, the, franchises the, the, like Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Tom Clancy's. Are there in the division remain priorities, but newer titles in the franchises that adopt the converging trends are yet to be released. What the fuck does that mean? I thought those games were already adopting modern trends. Dude, I don't know. Yeah, nobody at Ubisoft knows either, right? No. Also, they're spread too thin. They have like thousands upon thousands of fucking mm-hmm. people. Multiple you just teams. What like four around the world? Fucking Assassin's Creed games. I don't know what's the deal. I don't either. Also, here's where I'm at. Also. It feels like Ubisoft, in my opinion, they don't have a guy that has their finger on the pulse of the future of the games industry, right? Yeah. Whereas, like, certain people will come out a thing, and that shit will come out right perfect fucking time, where it's like, oh, they caught the trend right on the money. Yeah. It feels like Ubisoft releases games three years, four years after, like, they've seen the trend. Mm-hmm. Let's start making that game now that the yeah. trend's here. So by the time it comes out, it's done. Look at Hyperspace. They're, that's what I mean. They run like a company. It's It's... I feel like they're the only one you can say that about because Sony and Xbox are very like forward thinking. They set the trends. They set the standards. Mm-hmm. This is what everybody else builds their their models around. Yep. Nintendo doesn't even know what trends are. Does their own thing. Is is I think the opposite, the, anti- yeah. the an- antithesis of this Ubisoft. Is, this is their seventh cancellation this year. Yeah. Or not this year. In the last six months, because in July last year they canceled four games that were mm-hmm. already announced. I can't remember what they were. But then, yeah, they just canceled mm-hmm. three unannounced games, which fucking sucks. Um, they they will depreciate around 500 million pounds. I don't know how much that is American because they translate it into Australian dollars. <laughs> I don't know why. It is like, I mean, uh, of capitalized R&D concerning upcoming premium and free-to-play games and the newly canceled titles. Um, let's see. Uh, I believe they failed to consider to make good games. Yeah. That's usually step number one. Usually you can get away with whatever you want. And also, you is it the classic American capitalism problem of, like, things are bad unless you have, like, double growth? You know what I mean? Where people, like, they view movies that don't get triple how much they yeah. cost as a failure. Or they view a company that doesn't grow as, as That's an definitely issue. it. Where it's like, oh, if Apple, if their stock price doesn't go up by 10% in this year, they're a failure. And you're like, no, it's no. leveling out is perfectly no, fucking fine. No. We're all still making cash. No, on that, on that topic, bro, it's not, it's not video games. I, I want to talk about the Hasbro stuff, the the or the, the Wizards, of the, Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, yeah. I got a video queued up in my thing called, what is it called? Is is it the most critical video? I already watched that. Yeah. Um. I watched Delusional Company just got worse. Yeah. I got into my watch later, and um, seven minutes is about that. Dude, it's it's, I because that's the exact same thing. Where Hasbro is mm. a company ass company who's like, if you're not making double profit, if you're not squeezing every penny out of yeah. your audience, you're doing something wrong. Which is like, but they're getting fucked though. It seems. It really yeah. seems like almost everybody's on board to fuck them. Because it makes zero sense. Like, D and D is such a property that's the fans great because of the fans. Yeah, and, and like that's what no, builds it, everything. Yeah, and the fans seem to have all rallied on fuck this company. Yeah, like it really seems like they quickly and swiftly got everybody on board of like, oh yeah, fuck them. And so it's, even well, it's me, exa- who's it's, not in the mix, I'm like, yeah, fuck them. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't care about D and D. Yeah, but I got respect but, for like critical role. You're yeah. telling me they can't do their thing exactly. no more, or without paying you huge royalties. Yeah. Also, at the same time, D and D is only a property that can fucking make a movie. Yeah. Den of Thieves and come out because of what the fans did. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like it wasn't. They, there was no uh, like, 
in terms of branding and growing the brand into mm-hmm. different branches and different ways to go out there, Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro themselves did nothing. It yeah. was all just people who liked it and said, mm-hmm. we're going to do our own thing. They did the open game license like we, we were talked about, and they were like, hey, we can do all these things. Then you get Critical Role. You get uh, Friends at the Table. You get all these different D&D campaigns that people enjoy watching. You get mm-hmm. these different D&D properties that people love. Those systems being brought out into all kinds of different um, – whether it's like YouTube animated series, uh, things like that, that people just make and create, and the fans have caused it to blow up, um, and then now they want to capitalize. Blame Stranger Things. Blame Stranger Things? <laughs> yeah, put it in the No, name. it's just Papa Hasbro, bro. Yeah, it is. Because it, it was the exact same thing with MTG, bro. Yeah. D- D- no, MTG's on the show. Dude. Oh, my fuck. Because I knew... I Yeah, I watched the video. I knew the 30th anniversary thing was, like, stupid, but, but I didn't know was what... That bad? I didn't know what happened. Okay, yeah. I just heard they released a product that mm-hmm. was expensive. Okay, so you... I didn't realize you, until it was you watched, that expensive. Until you watched the critical video? I was pissed. Yeah, so... I, I, won't, I won't even consider no, playing that No, it was video. so bad, because I remember when it first happened. Of course, you watched the Tellarian community college guy who i love the prof mm-hmm. he does good mtg youtube content i don't play the game very much anymore are we buying stuff on steam right now live on air my man my man's can't buy a shower curtain but he's about to he's about to purchase a steam game <laughs> my guy bro you're buying what are you buying worms anton what ball deluxe you've never seen anton ball deluxe i have not oh my goodness dude looks, looks weird so is that is that are you playing music yeah, into the play whatever you want, bro? Um. Anyway, so, uh, of course, yeah. The Tularian Community College. He makes good MTG content. I watched him a lot back in the day. I yeah, don't watch much now because I don't play MTG. I'm mm-hmm. more in the Pokemon world. Um. But yeah, he made a video and I watched it. And yeah, it's it's a thousand dollars for what four packs of proxies of proxies that are unplayable. It's so it it's. Do you know like, how fucking like that? Who's it for? Bro, if the Pokemon company made a product like that, I would lose my fucking mind. And they already do kind of sometimes do product that's like, mm, but now with how much they're printing things and mm-hmm. stuff like that, that seems to kind of be going away as like a yeah. really big issue. But in terms of like straight out the door from them, like if you had said Wizard of the Coast released a product that was like that, yeah. but then it was on resale value for $1,000, I'd be pissed, but not at them. Yeah. Right. But this is out fresh out the dough. A thousand dollars. A thousand bucks for Can't four packs. Your LGS. Four packs of cards of cards that are useless, cannot be played at your LGS, are not really they're not gonna be good collector's items because you're not gonna like, oh this is my this is my uh, PSA nine fucking Proxy anniversary Black Lotus. Yeah, who gives a fuck about that? No. So they're not a good collector's item. They're not for the fans because the fans they don't have that fucking much money. Yeah. Right? Especially in this goddamn economy. Um it just doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't know. And and Ubisoft I kinda of feel like that kind of company, I guess. It's it's just like the same thing of like it. This does not feel like you don't have a, a Phil Spencer going out there and making me feel warm about being in an Xbox. Yeah, user. they're a faceless community. I've yeah, never yeah. ever ever been a proud Ubisoft fan. Yeah, no. and I don't know if anybody has a chance. No, he's like, a proud Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. Creed fan. True, true, true. But even then, like, there's there's not like much to rally behind there. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, it's frustrating because they make cool games. You just wish that was all they did. I don't need them to monetize a bunch of garbage. Anyway. Yeah. Moving on. A little bit of housekeeping for you before we get into the things we've been playing and reader mail. If you enjoy the show, you should consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash synced up, where for $1, you can get mm-hmm. access to our lovely Discord. Over $5, you can get access to that Discord and the post shows of all of the shows that we do, and many more goodies all from youtube.com slash synced up podcast and podcasting services around the globe. New episodes of this show specifically go up in all of those feeds Tuesdays, 7 a.m. Central, Central Time, Time Zone, Zone Gang. Yeah. You can also write into the show just at synced at gmail.com or the reader mail submissions tab of the Discord with any questions, comments, or concerns, and we will read those on the show. Getting into it. Let's get into it. First and foremost, Shall we? games you've been playing. You play anything besides like Marvel Snap and stuff? Uh, I hop back on Pokemon Scarlet. Mm-hmm. Uh, get back in that now that you finished God of War. I, yeah. Uh, I couldn't get myself to play it over break, but now that break's over, um, I can. I, I have less time, which mm-hmm. means there's less games I care about. Yes. So I can hop back into Pokemon. Okay. Um, Man, dude. The game sucks. Have you finished the story? The story's amazing. Yeah. Um, I haven't finished it. Okay. Uh, have you got to the thing? Uh. I just the big end area? No. Okay. I just did the last Titan. I did the last gem and I'm going into the last um, The big end area is kinda like fucking nuts. Yeah. There's like some crazy shit going on. I've had some of it spoiled for me. I'm very excited to get to that. Yeah. The story so far has been great, amazing. The game the Pokemon Standard. Yeah. There's just some bad stuff, bro. I almost threw my switch. Damn. Like I, no, I wouldn't I threw my switch. I would time. never. 
I remember. <laughs> it was Mario 99. Mario 99. <laughs> it was a complete accident. It was like instinctual. I immediately picked it up and was like, no, 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 sorry. I, I watched you do it. And, I was and like, it was a light throw, though. Oh but God. it was still there. I was like, oh. I was like, he, he threw a switch. No, dude, delete that game. What happened? <laughs> what happened was I I landed on a Pokemon. Sure. Like, okay, run away. I And, and pu- you hit the Pokemon. Uh-huh. It pushes you back to battle the Pokemon. Yeah. And I run away. Oh, that pushed me yeah. into another Pokemon. Oh. Oh. Got to run away. Oh, that pushed me into another Pokemon. No. Oh, that pushed me into another Pokemon. The fourth time, I was like, dude, I'm going to murder somebody. <laughs> I just want to play the game, <laughs> and it won't let me play the game. That is so fucking funny. What a problem. And it's just, yeah, there's a lot of bad stuff. Gosh, bro. I want a good Pokemon game. Yeah. We're getting to update 1.2. Um, Fix anything? Nah. What do you think? <laughs> Probably not. Nah, okay. It's going to... I. Hopefully it brings Pokemon Home function uh functionality. Yeah, so you can get that, shit popping. That's all I care about. Yeah, for your I, can, national I can start moving my your, stuff up. Yeah, your, your my living index. Living index. That's yeah, sorry. Um, because I, I I need to get that finished up. Yep. And then that's really all I care about. Um, I'm sure we'll get some DLC news next month. Because I, I feel like February seems like that seems like a Pokemon month. I think yeah, that we might also be we're due for Nintendo Direct at some point. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I'm sure we'll get. An acknowledgement that DLC exists, mm-hmm. uh, so that'd be cool. Yeah, but besides that, that's that's all I've been playing. I played, started Neon White. Mm-hmm. I almost started uh, Divinity Two playthrough good, again. Good thing you didn't, because it's on the Steam Deck, man. You know, it's like so accessible, so easy to get yeah. into. And that, I know that game will play good on the fucking Steam Deck. Mm-hmm. Um, but I decided, you know what? I got Neon White here. People said it was one of the fa- their favorite games they played last year. I'm gonna try this. It's real good. Yeah. Um, it probably would have made my top list, uh, ten list. Would have been on the lower end, I think. Yeah. It, you know, last year was a banger, but. Um and I, but I haven't finished it yet, so that's an important note. I yeah. think I'm maybe a third of the way through. Um, is it is it the story or the gameplay? The story is dog shit. Okay, yeah. no, the story is complete. Fucking, that's what I thought. It's <laughs> nothing burger, mm-hmm. but it, it's com- the gameplay is so good, mm-hmm. and the story is like easily skippable if you want. I've read it all of the lines because mm-hmm. it's like half cool speed. You know I like speed. Mm-hmm. It's like cool speed run time trial gameplay, yeah. and then the other half of the game is like this hub world like graphic novel. Graphic mm. novel? That's not the yeah, word. no. I, well, um, what's the word? No, what's the word? What's that type of game? What what, what genre is Doki Doki? No, 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 no. no, no. It's visual like, novel. It's like visual novel. That's what it is. Yeah, so it's like visual novel type thing where you're mm-hmm. like, there's two characters. Some of their lines are voiced. Some of them are not. It's like anime as fuck. Yeah. There's like a lot of like, help me shoot a gun. And she's like, he's like helping her learn how to shoot a gun. And she's like, oh, you're getting real close. You know, classic anime mm-hmm. sexual stuff. Which like, I, yeah, I, I don't really give a fuck about Watashi this. Like, oh my God, you're, you're all over me. Wow. Yeah. Like, and she's like incredibly sexualized, mad cleavage. And you're like, yeah, now I know why you like this. No. Yeah. So I skipped through Makes all that. Like, the story's, like, this weird thing about heaven and cats, and I don't fucking know. It's, like, super fucking weird, bro. Yeah. But the actual gameplay of it is, like, super dope. Like, there's these little microcosm levels. Mm-hmm. You get these different soul cards that have these abilities that can be used to shoot as their gun or mm-hmm. discarded as an ability. Yeah. And it works really, really well. And figuring out, okay, I can get my times better on this um, this section because I know I can go here and go here. And you're just trying to inch out those few extra seconds, right? Like, a little bit of speed running stuff. And they do well by having, like, you know, bronze, silver, gold medals. And then once you get those medals, there's other stuff to do. There's like a gift to collect in each level that help you unlock side quests, which yeah. is the only good thing about talking to the side characters because, you know, their stories are weird and goofy, but they unlock these like side missions that are like fun. So like one of them focuses on only discard effects. You'll never shoot anything. And mm-hmm. one of them is like everything's a death trap. So you have to make sure every all your jumps are super precise because there's spikes on all the walls and yeah. stuff. So like there's a little side quests are fun. But it's just really cool like you you have like there's like a pistol that shoots like a pistol and then when you discard it it gives you a double jump or uh, a harpoon gun that when you discard launches you forward but you can also shoot it like a harpoon um there's a there's a shotgun that shoots you like a fireball and in whatever direction you're looking um there's a purple gun that shoots like a little ball that like a grenade that blows up after a while which you can discard to do that it's kind of like a little push and pull like do you want to keep this to shoot more or do you want to mm-hmm. discard it to do its ability um there's like all kinds of all kinds of different ones. Uh, there's a machine gun, a submachine gun that when you discard it makes you do like a, a ground pound. So like all kinds of cool stuff like that when you're just picking up new guns and you know certain enemies will always drop a certain type of gun. You know that you can open chests to get guns. And each level is like a little fun little puzzle where you're like, mm. And then getting the gift, like I was telling you about to unlock their side quest, is also fun because you'll finish the level and you'll be like, okay, I'm going to go get the gift. And it'll be like a miniature puzzle where it's like, okay, I know that gift is like super far away. So I'm going to need at least three trip, uh, double jumps. But the only, I've only ever been able to get there with two cards left. So yeah. then you try to figure out a new way to save a card 
maybe jump on an enemy or not kill an enemy and skip it and jump around the side to find a way to get to a spot to save your cards to get the gift. So it makes gotcha. like a fun little puzzle. And then, of course, there's the ace medals where the, the level will give you kind of like a little hint of like, here's how you could save a little more time. Mm -hmm. And then you do it and you try to perfect that to get the ace medal. And then that's fun. So I'll go through the I'll go through the mission. I'll usually get gold medal first try, sometimes a silver medal, and then I'll get a gold medal. And then I'll find the gift, do the gift. And then for the last time, I'll do my ultra fast, try to get the ace medal, and then I'll move on. And I've done that for every level. I've got the ace medal. I got the gift. I got all the medals, done all yeah. that. And I've done that for all of like the 35, 40 levels I've played so far. It's super fun. I like it a lot, especially on the Steam Deck. It's super accessible. And cool. also, if, if you don't have it on the Steam Deck and you want to play it on Xbox and stuff, it's like 15 bucks. So I, I definitely think it's worth it. I dig. Yeah, I like it a lot. That's all I've been playing. You only played one game this week. Yeah, no. It's got, That's, the, it's got you in. in. Board games. Yeah. been playing a lot of that. Uh, you, you get back in the groove of Pokemon, of course. We went to the Pokemon tournament. You mm -hmm. know, so stuff like that. Good stuff. And I've been watching a lot. Ted Lasso really just fucking yeah, consumed good, good my TV life. Yeah, good TV right now. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Respect. Anyway, a little bit Respect. of reader mail from Spencer Travago. Travago. That's a throwback. It is a throwback. So... Let's do this one. What video game currency do you think is the, has the most value? Um, what video game? Uh, Donkey Kong Bananas. Uh, what does that mean? Most Sonic in Rings. Real life uh, value? Or like bang for your buck? Like just the highest economic value? Like what if I... If, if Every video game economy is broken as fuck in my opinion. Hmm. Yeah, it's never it's never correct. Yeah, true. Clash of Clans Gems. Mm. Yeah, those are actually IRL valuable. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're difficult. Got some, get some good money there. Snap. I would say Dragonstones from Doken, but yeah, you're you're weirdo, man. I know. What have you? What is oh. like some legendary currency? Oh, rupees. Sure. rupees. Rupees are pretty dope. Uh -huh. um, those are real life currency too. They that's true. In India, yeah. so maybe that's the most valuable. That's the, yeah, you might be right. Have you ever played a game so viscerally powerful that you couldn't play it again? In other words, what's your grave of the Fireflies game? Um, it's hard to distinguish if it's so. The thing with video games is I just don't play them again. Yeah, like I, I would, because it's most video games are like a five hour plus commitment, mm -hmm. and most TV shows or movies are, or at least movies are like yeah, an hour to two hour commitment. Yeah. Plus, with so movies, you can, you can only show them to a new person. You can't yeah. sit there and watch a new person play 25 hours of fucking Battle War, you know? I mean, recently, I will never play Immortality again. Because, mm -hmm. like... Did you finish it? I got to the... I, what, you ostensibly was the end? I figured out how the story ended. Yeah. And, what was and, that? I don't see if we got the same place. Like, she, she figures out how to, like... Kill herself and yeah. you become yeah and that's just like it's super confusing isn't it yeah well yeah it's dumb it's dumb that is correct <laughs> it's so dumb uh, like, when the ending hit i had no ounce of like oh i was like oh and like the, the all the panels start graying yeah. out and it becomes her yeah yeah I, it felt unrewarding yeah i completely fucking agree um because i was mostly interested in this like the timeline mm -hmm. and that was the ending the game was like now you got the ending yeah um I super dumb. That game gave me anxiety. Yeah. But it was like I have to finish this anxiety. Yeah. Um and and so I finished it and I just I I could not play it again. Yeah, okay. Um I don't know why. It's not that type of game. For me it's like last was two. That shit so it hurts me so fucking bad that like I can't I've tried twice to go uh -huh. back and play it and I get like a couple hours in, I'm like, yeah, I can't. No, it this. hurt me uh, enough that I just didn't want to play the game anymore. Yeah. Like I got last was two? Yeah. No. I got two hours in. Oh, so you played scene. some golf? Yeah. Yeah, I played golf, and then I was like, I don't want to play this game. <laughs> yeah. That's like me with Red Dead 2. I never played the epilogue. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm, no. Except mine happens two hours in. It's yeah. like 40. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I uh, can't. I'm not playing the fucking epilogue. I'm not doing that. Yeah, so last was two of Florence on the iPhone. It's really fucking good. If you haven't played Florence, that I shit's good. I don't play Florence is like 99 fucking cents on the App Store. It's like 40 minutes long. Play that shit. <laughs> I so good. I don't play trauma games. Uh, Before Your Eyes, probably. Yeah. Mm, that shit was... Ugh. Mm -hmm. Shit was brutal. Just a one time. Yeah. There you go. I don't play visceral games. That's the reader mail, baby. That's it for the show. We're going to do the post show for those of you that support us at the $5 tier, patreon.com slash sync dope. Yes, sir. So for those of you who do that, we'll see you in a few minutes. Everybody else, we will see you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye. Have a beautiful time.